it on is uh, it's a really fun, cool movie. It's basically about this suburban squad who for years have been winning national championships um, by coming to our school and stealing from us. And uh, this year, I'm the captain. I play the captain of the East Compton Clovers. I play Isis. And this year, she's not having that. She's, she's like, no, no, this is not going to happen. So basically, the movie is like set up over a, a period of uh, a school year, I, I, I believe, um, with them having these various little showdowns um, at different competitions. It's like a big dilemma in the beginning. I become captain. I find out that our, our, all our routines and our, all, our, all our dance numbers, everything's been stolen from the East Compton Clovers. disrespectful to cheerleaders. It actually puts them in a really good light. It shows them, you know, how hard they work to get where they are and, you know, how, you know, what dedication it takes because it is really a sport when they take it this far. It's definitely a sport. Oh, yeah. All the training, all the rehearsals, the practices, the stretching because it's very competitive, very competitive. They've got scholarships, college scholarships that are offered to cheerleaders. It's a big deal. Cheerleading is like this American iconic thing. It's stereotypical, yes. There are a lot of misconceptions about it, yes, but that's what made it so fun to play with all that stuff because everybody has this, everybody knew a cheerleader. Everybody has, you know, come across one, dated one, wanted to date one. So everybody has a, a feeling, be it, you know, love or hate, about cheerleaders. So it seemed a great subject matter to explore. We had some amazing choreography on the movie. Um, the uh, Clover's routines were choreographed by this woman called Hi-Hat, who's done a lot of music videos. And she brought these really fresh, amazing dance moves. And so much of the characters of the different squads, the Toros and the Clovers, uh, are the music that they perform to and the types of dance moves that they have. So we really wanted a different feel for the Clovers and for the Toros. And I, I really think that uh, we were able to achieve that. Uh, the Toros. Mm, they're, they're doing those old school moves, like yeah. this little move right here. Yeah. And like this. Right. Like, they hired a choreographer. Yeah, they they cheated. Yeah. yeah, they hired a choreographer. We that got originality to yeah. the table. At a certain point in the movie, uh, Torrance makes a decision to hire a choreographer whose name is Sparky Palastri, um, who's an interesting character. Y'all ready for this? Uh, a guy who always wanted to be a Broadway choreographer in the proud tradition of Bob Fosse, and now he's reduced to choreographing high school cheerleading squads. Uh, he pops pills, he yells, he's lecherous, and uh, his routines are uh, severely dated. Oh! oh my God! These are not spirit fingers. These are spirit fingers. And these are gold. I think that this movie is gonna, especially for the cheerleaders, because this is like one of the first movies of really about cheerleading and really about their sport and how competitive they are and how it really goes, you know? So I think that a lot of cheerleaders are really gonna respect this movie too. Whole new respect for cheerleaders on, on my part. I mean, it's, it's not just like, you know, silly dances and it's some of the like hardest work I've ever done. I mean, like I said, like I came from no kind of dancing or gymnastics background. Um, I have three older brothers. The height of my activity was like tackle football <laughs> with my brothers, but um, it's so hard, but um, the payoff is like really amazing. Like this is like indescribable. When you go to nationals, bring it. Don't slack off because you feel sorry for us. That way, when we beat you, we'll know it's because we're better. At this level of cheerleading, they do so much hard work. There's so much athleticism. I don't think they get enough credit for how hard they do work because it seems so fluffy. It's like people think of cheerleading as a real fluff thing, but at this level, it's they're working as hard as any of the sports teams that they're cheering for. And sometimes, at a lot of these schools, they're better than the sports teams they're cheering for. I never knew that people really, really took cheering this far, like their life. I didn't know that it was people actually out there, like, you know how singing is my life. I didn't know that people really, I mean, took cheering like they're everything. Like, they breathe, eat everything. They just cheer all day long. I didn't know it was like that. I said, burn! It's cold in here. There must be some clovers in the atmosphere. I said, oh, we, oh, we, oh. Ice, ice, ice. Slow it down. Well, 
I mean, there's the two teams. There's the East Compton Clovers, and then there's us. And the East Compton Clovers are made up of about four actors, and then all the rest professionals. And our team is about eight actors, and um, all the rest are professionals. But I mean, on our team, one of our guys from Texas, he's like the best cheerleader in the, in the country, and it's like they're serious business. The, the people who make up our squad, some of them are national championship cheerleaders um, from like uh, Louisville. Um, amazing, some, we have some amazing people on our spot. It's technical, I mean, because there's not a, there's a lot of big cheerleading, you know, guys that do the lifts and stuff, but there's, there's some smaller guys and you just get impressed. I mean, some of the girls that I have to, I lift, you know, um, as long as you both do your parts, it's, it's really more technical, but it does take some strength and you'd be surprised, some of these guys are pretty big. <laughs> It's like you're almost, you know, like performing. Cause, but there wasn't a lot of people in the crowds. But when everyone starts clapping for you, you're like, yeah, yeah, let's go out there and do it. And it's just you get like really aggressive, especially when you watch like the Clovers perform. Cause they have like an amazing routine also. And so you watch them and you're like, yeah, we gotta beat their butts. <laughs> we gotta, you know, rip it up. So you just have to go there with that aggression, you know, because that's like what cheerleaders do. Like in between dance moves, they go, yeah, and like get into it all, really spirited. Do I look like a milkmaid? Cause somebody feels like a cow. Carver, can you cradle out? You bet I can. Okay, ready? One, two, down, up. Well, I think that in the case of, of this film, ironically, or not ironically, obviously, uh, we looked for some actors that maybe had that, when we auditioned them, we wanted to see whether they were, you know, physical enough to, and skilled enough physically to be able to do the parts. So, in the audition process, part of what they had to do was they actually had to do some uh, cheers. So you could see whether they were, you know, clumsy or, or athletic. I knew nothing about cheerleading when I started this. I remember my audition, I went in and there were all these girls outside, like, stunting and doing all these cheers, you know, perfectly sticking everything. And I kind of went in and they asked me what I knew and I said I'd done yoga. <laughs> and. Um, they asked me if I could do a split, and I never really had, but I just kind of popped out into one, and they were like, okay. So we had to do a lot of training, but I've never danced, gymnast, nothing. I was a tomboy growing up. Eighth grade, when you didn't have to have talent. <laughs> that was the last time I was a cheerleader. I was a cheerleader in eighth grade, so it was, it, it was quite different then. No, no men on the team, and certainly no stunning. I wasn't really into it, but when I was in high school, I got involved in the band, and I was on the drill team, so I have a little bit of experience, you know, cheerleading. I was in marching band, but that prepared me greatly for this. I was a cheerleader in third grade. I was the captain of my cheerleading team, but I don't think that counts for anything. <laughs> but I, I never did it in high school. Like, I'm a senior now, and I don't go to regular high school. I'm a, I have a tutor, so I didn't even get to experience that, so it's kind of fun. I was a cheerleader in eighth grade. So, but we never did like the hardcore cheerleading like with ESPN. We always did, you know, go team. We had the easiest cheers. We just had like two words. We got spirit, yeah, yeah. But we did um, bases, all that kind of stuff. We went through four weeks of training um, at the Champion Outlaw Gym with Ray as our coach and Ann as. Totally incredible, it was amazing. I fell in love with cheerleading. I didn't know anything about, like I said, this type of, you know, the athletic cheerleading. And I'm hooked, I absolutely love it. <laughs> Some of it's scary, like, but just with them from the beginning, it was this like no fear thing, because you know, I don't know, you just, you don't fall really. Someone's always gonna catch you. I mean, you can get hurt, you know, we had an injury last week, but you really get the sense of like, you're not gonna hit the ground. There's enough people around who are just gonna catch you, and so you just, You'll do anything. Just throw me as long as you catch me, you know? <laughs> so, like, they, and also it's helpful with, you know, we usually we do actor with real cheerleader real, as, as opposed to two actors together because where we may screw up, they can, like, you know, compensate for it and make it stick. The only hard part about it is just the stunting that we have to do, the walk-up hands and the walk-up chairs and learning the stiff cheerleading moves. I mean, that's hard because, you know, you're scared you're going to fall. <laughs> but the dance and everything else is real. It's real easy. I caught on to the stunning really quickly. The dance, I'd done ballet and tap, but it had been a while, you know? So that it was harder for me to learn the dance uh, part of this routine than the stunning. I, I've never felt more uncoordinated in my life, you know? 
like I said, I can shoot like, you know, a billion and one free throws, but put me up in a chair. I'm like, I'm like, please let me land. Yeah, I, I feel like it's, it's the worst feeling. Cheerleading has a complete language of its own. Uh, you have to know uh, Scorpion. I don't even know Scorpion's up. No, it, you have to know such phrases as uh, basket toss, uh, QPs, full outs, cradle outs. Um, I think there is a scorpion lift. Um, uh, full out double twisters. There, there's just, I don't, I don't even know all of them. I think there's a glossary around. Okay, listen up. I'd like to try a wolf wall. Oh, okay. excellent. Yeah, we're all Torrance die. got the fever, people. What's a wolf swall? Only the hardest pyramid known to cheerleading and mankind. It's all lingo, yeah. The walk up hands and extent. I mean, it's just. It all kind of makes sense once you're in, once you know it. But at first, we were like, okay, take it slow, take it slow. But I mean, within one day, we were doing. You, you're basically your butt sitting in someone's hand, and they're holding you up there, and you just have to pinch a penny, pretend there's a penny between your butt cheeks, and squeeze that hard. So, in the faces, they call it facials, and you go <laughs> like. Oh. <laughs> But it's weird. I'm not. I'm not cheesy like that at all. But once I hit the mat and the camera goes, all of a sudden I find myself going. And like all the stuff that you do up in the air, like you know when you hit your high V, and you wink. Like I'm like I'm a winker now. I don't know what happened there. Like, but you just become that that cheerleader. I don't know. I, I guess we all have it somewhere in us. The little cheerleader inside comes out with the facials. This movie mines a, an area of high school that I hadn't seen in a movie before, which was concentrating on cheerleaders and really who they are. It doesn't make fun of cheerleaders. Uh, it treats them with respect. I mean, it pokes fun at the things that should be poked fun at. He is so easygoing. Um, what's great about him as a director and as an actor, he has such great communication with us. He doesn't look down on us, doesn't just try to say, oh, do it this way, you know. He'll let us use, he'll let us come to him and be like, hey, well, can I try it this way? Or can we try this or do something, you know? And he's like, yeah, he's very open-minded to our opinions. He's, he's the best. He gives you the freedom to do your thing. And he has absolute, like, faith in his actors to uh, do their job. And action! He just makes the set really comfortable. As soon as you come on, he's joking around. And even though, you know, he can joke around because he knows exactly what he's doing, he's so, you know, he just, even if you're in a bad mood, you come on the set, he makes you laugh. You're always hearing people saying, like, oh, this movie's got everything. But this movie does have a lot of, uh, you know, for the guys, you've got, obviously, a lot of cheerleaders to look at. Uh, for the girls, I mean, you, you, the character of Kirsten Dunst, uh, her character Torrance, is a, you know, the leader of this team. She's got all these choices to make. There's a love interest, this character Cliff, uh, so it's got a romance aspect to it, and uh, and it's funny. Uh, first and foremost, it's a, it's a comedy. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> any more questions? I think we're good.